Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Green Dot and more specifically, we're talking about the Green Dot prepaid card fees. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Green Dot, it is one of the more popular prepaid debit cards out there on the market. You can usually buy them at like CVS or local pharmacies, and then you can also recharge them there. But we're not gonna talk about that. What we're talking about, what are the fees that are associated with having a Green Dot card? So the thing is with banking institutions, the fees and policies can change from time to time. So whatever information I put on this video could change at any moment. So make sure you go through this process to find the most recent fees for your particular account. And what I did is I went directly to the Green Dot website and found the fees for the prepaid card. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a link to that page there. But let me go ahead and switch over to there now. All right, I went ahead and pulled this up and then here is the website greendot.com and then the title of this article is cardholder agreement. So in this particular document, it's gonna list any kind of fees that are associated with the Green Dot card. It is a prepaid MasterCard or sometimes a Visa card. And here are the different fees that are associated with it. I'm gonna try to zoom in so you can see it a little bit more. So when you initially purchase the card, they charge $2.95 for the card. And that depends on the account that you have, either a monthly plan or a pay-as-you-go plan. If you do the monthly plan, they do charge $7.95 per month. But if you have a pay-as-you-go plan, there is no monthly fee. And when you spend money, it's $1 per purchase when you make a transaction with your prepaid card. Unless you have the monthly plan, then there is no transaction fee. If you'd like to reload money onto your card, they charge $5.95. And that doesn't matter. That would actually apply to both plans. The ATM withdrawal fee for the Green Dot prepaid card is zero if you go in-network. Now, in order to find the in-network ATMs, you do need to log into your account. Once you log into your account, then you can go through their ATM search function and find an ATM that's considered in-network, or you can simply go to any ATM that accepts the card. But if it is out of network, they will charge you $2.50, and that's Green Dot charging you that. In addition to whatever bank that you use, they may end up charging you as well. All right, also you can go to participating banks and withdraw money from your Green Dot prepaid debit card. If you do that, it's going to be $2.50 either which way you do it, and they have to pull the money out at a participating bank. All right, scrolling down a little bit further, if you go to an ATM to check your balance, there is no fee for that, which seems nice, but that should be a free function anyways. Next, if you go to an ATM that is out of network and you check your balance, Green Dot will charge you 50 cents to check your ATM balance. So make sure you don't do that. That's just no reason to pay for that. That's just kind of a waste. If you decide to use your card outside of the US, there is an international transaction fee of 3%. So that is an international transaction fee. So if you buy something overseas for $100 while you're out of the country, that transaction will actually cost you at least $103. And then other various fees, they have an inactivity fee of $1.95 if you are on the pay-as-you-go plan. And that fee is charged per month after 12 months of not spending anything on your prepaid debit card through Green Dot. So as long as you use the card at least once every 12 months, then that fee would not apply. And if you lose your card and you would like to have it replaced, they do charge $4.95 and that's for both types of Green Dot accounts. And that's for regular delivery. So you will not receive your card usually for about seven to 10 business days. If you would like to have it expedited, if you lost your Green Dot card, the card replacement fee is $15. But by paying additional amount, you'll usually get that within three business days according to them. So as you can see, the Green Dot card can be convenient because they offer it at a lot of different locations, especially if you don't qualify for a typical bank. But with these fees that are charged for a lot of different things, it can add up. If you only have $100 on your Green Dot card, you can see that the amount could dwindle down quite rapidly if you don't watch your account or if you make purchases out of network. So does your card have any additional fees aside from this? If so, leave me a comment below, let the rest of us know. But usually in the cardholder agreement, that would include any fees that are associated with your Green Dot prepaid MasterCard or Visa. But hopefully you found the video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.